Bruce Forsyth is a show business legend known to millions. He's 82 years old and has been a professional entertainer since he was 14. and his third wife, the former Miss World, Will Nalia Forsyth, ahead of a large and ever-expanding family. I have uh, six children, uh, that's five daughters, and JJ, who's the only son. Although they're from three different marriages, they're a wonderful family, and that's all due to my, my wife, Will Nalia, who's sort of kept us together. My family tree is uh, probably feeling a bit tired now. Maybe the, the bowels are beginning to feel the strain. I'm a great-grandfather three times over, which is difficult to say. Great-grandfather three times over. I got there. Oh, yeah. oh, oh look at that. And I, no. Oh, and it will. <laughs> Bruce has received some unexpected news about his paternal great-grandfather, Joseph Forsyth Johnson which suggests that his family may be even bigger than he thought. This is a letter from a lady in America called Linda Monday. It did start me thinking, and thinking deeply. Dear Mr Forsyth, I am currently doing some genealogy research and in the process have found what I believe to be a connection with your family. My ex-husband's great-grandfather, Joseph Forsyth Johnson, came to America in the early 1880s from England. We surmise that Joseph Forsyth Johnson was married to two women at the same time, one in the US and one in England. The story told in the family is that Joseph died at sea. Kind regards, Linda Mundy, Georgia, USA. Now, I don't know whether any of this is true, but I'm certainly going to find out. Bruce has decided to find out the truth about Joseph Forsyth Johnson for himself and is heading to Cuffley in North London, not far from where he grew up. My father worked very, very hard. He was a garage engineer. They were wonderful parents and, and probably my mother particularly had more ambition for me than I had myself. We weren't poor people, but we weren't rich. We were sort of in between. Um, but they did sacrifice a lot for me in those early, early days. I'd never have made it without them. Bruce's father, John, rarely mentioned his grandfather, Joseph, and knew little about his life. All I'd previously heard about Joseph Forsyth Johnson was that he was a landscape gardener um, he did go to America to work, and uh, he wrote books. He wrote a, a few books on landscape gardening. But Bruce does have one relative who may know more. Alan Johnson is my cousin, uh, my long-lost cousin in a way, because we haven't seen each other for decades. He is a bit of a family historian, and... Um, thinking about I thought if anybody knows uh, a lot more than I do about the, the family and the history of the family he'd be the guy to see. Hello Bruce. <laughs> How are you? Lovely to see you. Do come Lovely in. To see you. And you're so much like your father. Yeah. My God. That's how I remember Uncle Comes Bob. Comes with the genes, apparently. You, you, you do look like Uncle Bob. Like Bruce, Alan Johnson is a great-grandchild of Joseph Forsyth Johnson through his father, Robert, Bruce's Uncle Bob. Now then, Alan, I had a letter from a lady in America, OK, about Joseph Forsyth Johnson. It seems... He died at sea. And the other thing she said which startled me was he could be a bigamist. Well, that's absolutely new territory ah, for me. So I've surprised you. Oh, yes. That's made my day. It really yes. has made my day. So, Never heard uh, anything about this. Is that him there, the photograph? Well, I'm just... This, this is Joseph 
Forsyth Johnson, um, Gardner Johnson, as we call him. And oh, quite a quite a good looking man. Isn't well, he? he's well set up, Got isn't him. he? Yes, he's... I mean, look at that. Alan knows that Joseph worked in the U.S., but has no information about his life there other than these photographs. Interestingly enough, yeah. do you see... Oh, New York. So the photograph was taken in New York. There's not three kids in the background no, or anything like no, that. No. But that's very interesting. Alan's research has traced Joseph's life back to his humble origins in Yorkshire. This is the 1851 census. And here we have Joseph Forsyth Johnson. Johnson. Now, his grandfather is a gardener, and it looks as though he most likely went to his grandfather's as an apprentice gardener. So he was, a, as it says, a scholar? Yes. Alan has discovered that Joseph moved out of the family home as a young man and found work as an assistant gardener on the large Yorkshire estate of Gilling Castle. He meets a young lady there oh, really? oh. and marries in Gilling. Yes. And here, Bruce, interestingly enough, is the marriage certificate. Ah. So we've got Joseph Forsyth Johnson. Yes. Married Elizabeth Trousdale. Joseph married Elizabeth Trousdale in 1861. She was Gilling's housekeeper, an important position at the castle. He was um, 21. Yes. But she was eight years older. No. no. So he liked older women. Well, indeed. But of course, there may be benefits to marrying somebody who's senior in the household. Ah, I see what you mean. So it was his way of, of, of getting in there. Alan's documents show that Joseph and Elizabeth had six children. Their first, John, born in 1862, was Bruce's grandfather. Over the next 11 years, they had five more children. Their last, Christina, was born in 1873. Alan has no photographs of Joseph and Elizabeth together, but he does have portraits of Elizabeth later in life with some of the couple's grown-up children. Georgiana, do you remember Auntie Georgie? Oh, yes, I do. Little woman? Yes, yeah, little tiny lady. Yes. <laughs> And this is my granddad, would it be? There we are. Yeah, my granddad. Yes. There's your father. Oh, really? There's Christina. Uh -huh. This is Auntie Chrissy's diary. Oh. And read that, Bruce. Father arrived in Liverpool by the Etruria. Christina's diary records one of her father's journeys home from America in the 1890s. Father called for one, went out with him. We looked around the shops and afterwards went to see Georgie at Stoke Newington. Interestingly enough, if he was a bigamist, mm -hmm. they obviously didn't have any suspicion. The diary shows Joseph to be a respectable, if often absent, husband and father. There's also no mention of his death at sea. But Alan does have a document that may help Bruce trace what happened to Joseph and his family. Over here is his visiting card. Uh -huh. Joseph Forsyth Johnson, consulting landscape gardener and garden architect ex-curator, Royal Botanic Gardens, Belfast. The business card lists Joseph's appointments and positions and shows where he and Elizabeth lived as he built up his career. That's quite something, isn't it? Yeah. Now, Bruce, I think oh. you ought to have Auntie Chrissy's diary. Oh, it might come in handy on our quest. And I'd like to give you this. There's the card. Oh, yes. If you're going to research any further, this is the place to start. 